Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in. My name is Tyler Ellison. I'm going to be bringing through Ryo today to deliver a transmission to all of you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy, and I will bring him through. Is our joy and our passion to be able to interact with each of you through this particular channel. In this video, we shall talk to you about the idea of what you consider to be emotional healing, which takes place through the process of what you would call emotional communication. For what you consider to be emotions are in many ways connected to what you would consider to be your sense of self, your sense of identity. So, you create the illusion of being one person, but in actuality, you are infinite people. What you consider to be your personality construct is actually made of infinite different entities, infinite different selves that you have experienced in your linear progression through physical reality. And in many ways, this personality that you have is not just limited to the selves you have been in this lifetime, but it also is connected to selves you have been, linearly speaking, that are of other lifetimes, what you call your past lives. So in that sense, it is as if your persona is the temporary manifestation of an infinite stream of self. So... When you are dealing with what you consider to be negative emotions, generally speaking, you are dealing with unintegrated emotional and psychological states that are connected to the selves that you have been across this lifetime and across all lifetimes. So in that way, different emotional phenomenon that you experience may be connected to other times, other places that you've experienced as other people. However, a great deal of them will be more relevant to your personal self, whom you experience yourself to be in this particular lifetime, because this lifetime is, of course, the major theme in this lifetime. So, when you are dealing with emotions that are negative, it is likely what you're experiencing is a call of help. Some dimension of your past self is asking for your attention. It's asking for your assistance. So when you're feeling angry, when you're feeling sad, when you are feeling fearful in the moment, what's happening is different selves that you have been in this lifetime are in a sense resonating with whatever has triggered you in the present moment. And that's why present moment emotions can sometimes be very big, even if you're dealing with something that seems to be very minute, very little within your current experience. In other words, you may feel you're having a very powerful emotional reaction to what seems to be a very, very tiny trigger. The reason the emotional reaction seems so big is because all of the past selves you have been in this lifetime whom have dealt with that same emotion but were unable to integrate it are speaking up to you when you're triggered and they're saying please assist me with this feeling i don't know what to do with it i don't know how to move it through me i don't know how to integrate it i don't know how to accept it please help so when you transform your emotions in the present moment by not identifying with them as your fundamental self, but rather appreciating them and letting them flow through you. You actually communicate to those past selves whom are dealing with the same type of emotional sensation. And you then teach your past selves how to accept emotions, how to flow with emotions, how to integrate emotions. So in that way, when you choose to heal yourself in the present moment, you heal yourself across time. You broadcast the methodology. You broadcast the technique. You broadcast the way that you have chosen to those versions of you 
that are, in a sense, of the past. And they then begin to experience integration. They then begin to experience healing. And you start to shift to a reality where you are a holistically integrated and healed person. So when you do this, you're actually, in a sense, communicating across time. Because remember, past, present, and future all exist right here, right now, at once. So when you're making that change within yourself now, that is emanating to those quote-unquote past as well as future realities, and it's informing both of them. And in that way, you're actually editing your past. You are creating what you would consider to be alternate timelines, where instead of being consumed by the emotion, unable to integrate it, your past self then receives your guidance and receives your technique and receives your love and is then able to integrate it and you begin to align with that version of your past self. So in that way, when you choose to work harmoniously with your emotions in the present, you are creating alternate pasts. You're creating an alternate storyline for yourself that you begin to feel within you. It starts to feel as if you are no longer that person whom was a victim. You start to feel as if you are no longer that person who was burdened with emotions. And this is evidence of you becoming that new self. And the more masterful you become in the present moment with your emotions and with your triggers, the stronger that sensation will be. So in this video, we're going to talk to you all about how to work with your emotions in a deep and loving way so you can allow for them to move through you. So whenever you are dealing with what you consider to be a negative emotion that is causing you stress, that is causing you any sense of trauma, the first thing to do is breathe. That is always the first thing to do because the breath moves the emotions through the body so they don't stagnate, so they don't build up. When they build up and they can't move, that's when a person has what you consider to be an emotional outburst or an emotional explosion. It's because a certain type of emotional pressure has built and it seeks the path of least resistance. And for many of you, that's your brain, your upper centers, your mouth, which is used for communication. It's almost like a heat that will attempt to rise. And once that heat rises and stimulates the brain, that's when a person goes into reaction mode and they become very triggered and they can act in ways that perhaps really aren't in alignment with their preference, but are simply based in being triggered and responding negatively to that. So the first step when you're dealing with negative emotions is to just breathe. The key is to really slow your breath down and to not breathe from the chest, but instead to breathe from the belly. Allow for yourself to belly breathe. Once you have inhaled to full capacity, filling your lungs from the bottom up, hold the breath for a moment and then exhale a sigh through the mouth. This sigh, which is the ha sound, cleans the heart. The physical organ, the heart, is affected by the ha sound. And the heart elementally corresponds to fire. And whenever you're dealing with intense emotions, that's a type of heat, as we have said before. And because heat and fire are correspondent, that emotional energy will begin to go to the heart. And the heart in many ways reflects to you what you would call your personal spirit, who you are in this lifetime. So when the heart is disturbed by these emotional energies, it's as if the emperor of your body in that way, or the empress of your body is being stimulated by these emotions. So when you make the ha sound, you are releasing that emotional energy from the heart. And it can quickly begin to shift your state of mind, to shift your consciousness. So let's do a breath together. Nice and slow inhale. Begin with your belly. Move up to the bottom of your lungs, the middle of your lungs, and then the top of your lungs. Let's begin. See if you can do a six second inhale, nice and slow. and then let out the ha sound as the exhale. Inhale. And exhale. 
exhale. You can use your hands as well. On your inhale, bring your hands up as you fill your lungs. And exhale the ha sound down. See if you can make your exhalation longer than your inhalation. The long exhalation activates what you call your parasympathetic nervous system. And the activation of this will turn off your fight and flight mechanism. And this can allow for you to, in a sense, deactivate the reactionary mode that is, in a sense, being triggered. So the first step is do a few rounds of that. Just do a few rounds of this long inhalation a full belly breath, and then a long exhalation, making the ha sound. And from here, the next step is to close your eyes and go within and feel for where in your body you detect the emotion is present. So this might be in your liver. This might be in your chest. You might feel it in your arms. You might feel it in your brain. You might feel it in your groin. Wherever you feel it, just take a moment, bring your attention there and continue this nice breathing. Nice inhale. And regular exhale, no sound this time. Just bring your attention to the area and neutrally observe the emotion. Bring your hands to the area as well. Touch on your body where you're feeling the emotional sensation and just take full breaths with your attention, gently noticing the area. Not trying to fix the emotion, not trying to force it out, not trying to change it, just observing it, just watching it. Bring your attention here. And that is step two. Once you're here, the idea is to begin to communicate with the emotion, speak to the emotion. So one of the things we advise is what is known as the Ho'oponopono mantra, which is, I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. And internally begin to chant this towards the emotional sensation. As we have said, this emotional sensation is not just connected to you in this moment. You're experiencing the emotional sensation that is resonant with different selves that you have been across time. And this is where that transtemporal healing takes place, where you heal yourself across time. And begin to simply repeat this mantra to the area where you're feeling the emotion. We would advise repeating it at least nine times to the emotional sensation. This is step three. After you have repeated this mantra about nine times, you will start to feel like a shift is happening. It will start to feel like there's been a space that's been created between yourself and the emotion. And it's not a space of separation. It's actually an aura of love. Because when you bring your attention to something, you nurture that something by feeding it attention. And now you're using that attention as a vehicle to transmit the mantra into the area. And the mantra with the intention behind it and the attention behind it will cultivate an aura of love around the emotional sensation. That gives rise to a type of spaciousness that you feel. And from here, once you start to feel the spaciousness, once you start to feel the shift, the idea is to form on your face a smile, start to feel love, start to feel joy, feel your heart open up, and start to think of the best feeling you have ever had in your life that you can recall. 
Think of the most pleasing sensation, the most wonderful sensation you have ever had in your life. And begin to direct that sensation down into the area where you are feeling this emotion. And repeat the ho o pono pono mantra as you smile down into the area. And do a few breaths of this, at least nine breaths. From here, the next step is to communicate with the emotion. Ask the emotion why it is suffering. Ask the emotion why it hurts. Why is this occurring? And what is the message that you have to share with me? What is the message you're here to give me? You can also ask the emotion, what change can I make in my life? What change can I make in my attitude that will engender peace? Because that emotion is here to give you a message. It's asking for something to be integrated. So the key is to have that conversation with it. Because this conversation is not just with the emotion. As we have said, you're having this conversation with yourselves across time who have also experienced this sensation. So you're getting information from your past selves so you can integrate them with you. And this allows for you to, in a sense, defragment your consciousness. Because all of these selves that are dealing with these unintegrated emotions, they're sort of like sub-personalities. They are personas that are operating in the background behind your conscious mind. And these sub-personalities sometimes can be in conflict with one another and it creates dysfunction in your present here and now moment. So when you're doing this, you're sort of defragmenting these past selves, you're defragmenting these sub-personas, and you're getting them to integrate, so you become, in your experience, a holistic being. And once you have received the message, once you have received the communication from the emotion, the idea is invoke the divine. Invoke the divine and bless the emotion and ask for healing. So again, with love in your heart, simply say, source of creation, it is my will to experience balance and healing within my emotional body. May my emotional body be healed. May I be at peace. And may these emotions transform into love and beauty so they may serve me on my journey in this physical life. And once you have spoken that to the divine and to the emotion, simply bring your hands to the heart center and thank your higher self for working with you and guiding you through this process. And then open your eyes and begin to go about your day. Now, when you do this, a lot of energy may move. So really take some time for yourself to go through this process. Make sure you have anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes to really go through this. So you can have a moment of intimacy with yourself because that time is really important. That's what's needed for these types of processes to be able to unfold in a way that's not interrupted. And should you begin to interact with your emotions like this on a daily basis, you will see tremendous transformation in your world. You will see tremendous transformation in your reality. You will begin to watch yourself become a new person quickly. So, we thank you for your attention in this video. And as always, our species, unconditional love and appreciation to each of you. Good day. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.